The Brits took place last night. The Oscars are taking place this weekend. I wanted to ask you, Chucky, to start off with, yeah? Yes. What do you think about diversity in award shows? Let me tell you something, yeah? Never put somebody there just because they are black or because they are Asian or whatnot. You put somebody there through them being credible in what they're doing. My thing is this. I'm not saying that the Brit Awards should ever take somebody like years and years out or James Bay or whatever and replace it with anybody because statistically these guys have hit a lot of figures, whether it be YouTube or, or, or sales. But let me tell you something, there's, a, there's something going on over here, you know what I mean? And you have to represent what's going on within British culture and it's not just that what mm. you're seeing there's mm. loads of things going on and me personally my personal opinion is that th there should be another category for artists from a, a, a different section of british music culture that should be showcased 100 so, so there should be a, a a whole category within that award show to 100%. be 100 because it would be ridiculous for me i heard somebody say um, ah, you know, yeah, people like Stormzy had great videos, Lady Leisha had great videos, they did. But you know what, I can't take away from the fact that when I check the categories of best video, for example, all of the people that's in there hitting 100, 100 million, mm. Lady Leisha didn't do that. Mm. Um, uh, Stormzy didn't do that. I think mm. he was 25 million, so mm. it's not even nearly close. But at the same time, they're doing phenomenal things, mm. you know, and selling out very big venues. Mm. So it's, there's no way that you can tell me that what they're doing is not good enough to be showcased in some way, shape or form. Mm. Poet, would you agree with that? Would you think that like an award show like the Brits, yeah, would need its own category in regards to, say, black music? I mean, this, do you know what? My mind's in seven different places at the same time. Let me try and get it here for a sec. Do you know what it is? It's like this. Look, our scene is very young. It's not that old. So mm. for us to try and compete, the fact that we're even in the conversation, I'm very, very proud. Mm. Because we're competing against the monster that's been around for a very very long time so first of all congratulations to everyone that has made it a situation where in which we're like it's a conversation why are we not there i have to agree with a lot of the things chucky said at the end of the day you've got to be there on merit and the people that are you know at the brit awards doing the things that they're doing have that i've got phenomenal numbers across the border whether that be album sales whether that be youtube views and so on and so forth but what we should do is we should look at People like Stormzy, he's got 25 million views for a video that he shot in a car park. And if we're mm. going to say best video, let's take a look at the, not just the quality of video, but let's take a look at everything that we have to our disposal. Stormzy hasn't got a budget. Is, does the video depict the mood and the vibe and, and epitomize youth culture to a certain extent and what Grimes all about? Does it embody the sound? I think it definitely does. So I don't think that a video should go and get more attention than Stormzy's because it's got a bigger budget. It needs to be, does it encapsulate what the song represents? And I feel like Shut Up as a video mm. probably encapsulates the mood, youth culture, grime, everything, a little bit more than probably some of the videos that I see in the pop world, which are very, very conventional. Mm. They're like in a box with all these bright lights and these people dancing, oh my God, life's so amazing. And mm. it's, it's like, it's not really good videos nowadays. So I kind of feel like some of the videos that are coming out from the urban scene, the grime world, whatever you want to call it, they actually embody the culture a lot more than things in popular culture. Mm. So I think video wise, we should have had, we should have been a bit more in the conversations than we were. The Shape Debate.